Alrighty, what's up my lay loads? My name is Pokey Drago and welcome back to another video. Now in this video, we're going to Porsche South Point to give one last remembrance to the Lamborghini Huracan Performante. That's right, Italian Life has sold his Lamborghini Huracan Performante for a Porsche 911 GT3 RS. Now, don't get me wrong, the GT3 RS is amazing, but that Performante, with the sound it had, with the, like, I, that was my very first time ever being in a Lamborghini. I finally had a chance to get in one, and that was the car right there, and now. All right, you guys, here at Porsche South Point, and I can already, you guys can already see it. Yep, there it is. If you guys remember, like I said before, this was Italian Life's Lamborghini Huracan Performante. Now, for some people, y'all may not know, may not know what the Lamborghini Huracan Performante is. Well, I'll give a little bit of, of an explanation. So, the Lamborghini Huracan Performante was Lamborghini's more track-focused version of the regular Lamborghini Huracan. The engine in here is a is a 5.2 liter naturally aspirated V10 engine pushing over 640 horsepower. Keep in mind that is up there with the likes of like the Z06 and the Z uh, and the ZL1. So that's pushing a lot of power. Zero to 60 is 2.9 seconds and. Whew, this thing also has a double clutch transmission, seven speed double clutch transmission. And my goodness, I keep looking at the car because I can't, I just can't believe that the car is gone. Like it's gonna be going back to Lamborghini of Charlotte. Yep, that is right, you guys. If you guys do want to come see this car, it's not gonna be here for much longer. In fact, I wouldn't even say by the time this video comes out, it's probably not gonna be here. But this car is going to be back at Lamborghini of Charlotte, so if you guys want to see it, go to Lamborghini of Charlotte, and it will probably be there. And for you guys, you guys will get a chance to see, you know, the first time I got a chance to see this incredible beast, and the time where I got a chance to ride in the Lamborghini Huracan Performante. You guys have seen it several times, but for those newer subscribers who are just joining the channel, you guys will get a chance to see it in this video as well. I mean, just look at that, you guys. This this car is just, I don't even know what to say. This car is so amazing. But I will admit, he did replace it with a GT3 RS and Compare and that 9,000 RPM scream is absolutely amazing. Now don't get me wrong. This sounds, in my in my personal opinion, this will sound better than the GT3 RS. But the GT3 RS, when you, when you go all the way up to 9,000 RPMs, whew, it it really really will start singing. I'm just I'm, I'm sad. This was an amazing car. I guess my buddy can't be called Italian Life now because he doesn't have an Italian car. Unless he gets one of my other buddies 458 Special, which I highly doubt he's going to. But anyways, I guess he's going to be called, you know, maybe Ger Germer Life or German Life or something like that. Who knows? Names is still a work in progress. Oof. Lamborghini Huracan Performante. It's been a good ride, man. I really wish I could have gotten in one more ride with you before you sold this, man. But I, I honestly cannot wait to see what the GT3 RS feels. There you guys go. You have the Italian flag right there. And that right there reads Performante. This right here and the word Performante are all additives to, from the regular Huracan. And I, if, correct me if I'm wrong, but there might be even bigger brakes on the Performante than on the regular Huracan as well. And the Huracan Performante, I believe that both the Spider and the Coupe, both of them are all-wheel drive as well. So, I mean, whew. imagine driving or slamming the accelerator in this thing. It will be insane. Here you can see the forged carbon 
on the front bumper, which looks absolutely amazing. And my and the person who used to own this car, I know him. He would to drive this car hard. He, he wouldn't j baby it. He would drive it hard. And the coolest part about it, you guys, is the fact that this Forge Carbon still looks good, just like the day he bought it. It looks really, really good. And one thing that's really special to the Lamborghini Huracan Performante is the fact that this vehicle also has for Forge Carbon. Yeah, that's what it is. Forge Carbon, and you have it there, there, and there. You, you also have it like on the door sides, on the center console. And also on the power shifters, which I love. That's what they did. I love the fact that they added the forged carbon on the power shifters. That's really amazing. But here comes the cool part. You also have a lot more forged carbon, both on the exterior of the car, which is so, which is. I'm happy that Lamborghini put that material on the outside of the car and really did an amazing job when they did it as well. So I will show you guys. Oops, sorry about that. I will show you guys what that. Um, it's forged carbon on the outside looks like you even have the forged carbon on the wing which this wing is only also available for the Lamborghini Huracan Performante as well which whoo -wee, it just looks so nice I absolutely love the forged carbon wing on this and this is also um, active like this is a wing that is used to allow the Huracan Performante to have the times that it does. This was, um, at first, before the Porsche GT2 RS, this was the fastest thing on the Nürburgring. This whole package right here was the fastest thing on the Nürburgring. Then the Porsche GT2 RS beat it, and now the Lamborghini Aventador beat that. To the rear of the car, you can see the forged carbon going all the way towards the tire which is insane I didn't realize the forged carbon went all the way back there but then you also you also have this right here the exhaust right here is also unique for the Lamborghini Huracan Performante that one's an 18 this looks so nice I mean like this looks very very nice now you guys can see, even if I zoom in, you guys won't be able to see it, but inside the engine bay, there's also forged carbon in there as well. So that, all this stuff right here you guys are seeing, yeah, that's forged carbon inside the engine bay. So you guys can say, even say that this forged carbon can be, is very heat resistant as well because the engine bay in these vehicles tend to get extraordinarily hot very quickly. Whew. There you guys go. There's the beast that's going to replace it right there. Oh, it just looks so good. Oh, he's even going to back it in right, be right behind or right beside the Performante. Oh, yeah. Yo. Okay, maybe the GT3 RS could actually sound perhaps maybe a, a bit as well as the Huracan. Yo! <laughs> Woo -wee. Look at that, you guys. Yo! Yep. The two beasts. Jeep 23 RS and the Lamborghini Huracan Performante. That is replacing that. Let me know in the comment section down below which one you guys <laughs> like more. Performante or the GT3? Now looking at the GT3 right beside the Performante, I gotta admit, it sounds and looks absolutely amazing. Wow! Ooh-wee! Stalock wheels. This white looks absolutely incredible, you guys. Look at that. Ooh. Now, here's something that's interesting. Okay, yeah, okay. At first, I thought it was um, carbon ceramics, but 
Actually, hold on a second. Let's come over to the Lambo. <clears throat> yeah, the Lamborghini has carbon ceramics. This GT3 doesn't, doesn't. Or if it does, then those are the, the weirdest carbon ceramic brakes I've seen. Hmm. Ooh. Look at that. It says Porsche right there. GT3 RS. looks so nice and I believe yeah it has the more hardcore bucket seats as well it also has like right there there's the fire extinguisher PDK Ooh. okay I don't know I guess my buddy made the right choices when he was looking at the GT3 RS he did a very good job oh boy I actually think I might like this I cannot wait to see how this thing feels when the, we get both the GT2 and the GT3 both together. This is absolutely amazing. I did not know that they were going to finish this car, you know, doing the servicing and everything else while I was still here. This is amazing. Not bad, not bad. Whew. It looks so good. Well, you guys, today was absolutely amazing but also emotional we're saying goodbye to the bull but we're welcoming the beetle right here and that's a joke that the squad has but anyways we're saying goodbye to the lamborghini and we're saying hello to the brand new gt3 rs to the squad so thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed remember to like comment and subscribe if you guys did enjoy the video make sure you guys share the video with everybody but before you guys go you guys now get a chance to see the history, well not the history, but you know, the times where I got a chance to see the Lamborghini Huracan in action. So, hope you guys enjoyed that part of the video, and as always, peace out.